Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. In this video, we're going to tie the Rojo Midge. I'm going to tie this on a Firehole 317. Um, the original is tied on a TMCO 200R. You can do that. Um, that hook as well. Um, I like the barbless, barbless hooks here for most of my fishing now. I've got a red glass bead on the hook. I'm just going to slide that out of the way at first, and I'm going to tie a purple version today. The body of this fly is um, derived from the color of the thread that you use, so I'm going to do purple thread. And the first thing we're going to do with that bead slid back is we're going to tie in some floss for some breathers. And this pattern uses um, dental floss, the original. You could use a softer fly tying floss. Um, if you didn't have any uh, any floss handy, but uh, or dental floss handy, I, I found some dental floss at home. You're kind of looking for this like kind of soft fibered stuff like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie that in front of the eye, kind of midway, fold it over like that, and then we're going to tie off. just a little bit there okay now that we've got that tied off we'll slide the the bead up and then we can trim those breathers down there we go okay so now I can take my thread put it back on behind the bead and the purple version of this fly I and mean, I mean all this can be mixed and matched however you want however you want it to look color wise but uses a blue wire you could also use like a light purple wire I think would look kind of cool or even a red wire with the purple thread we're going to tie that wire in small ultra wire this is size 18 if you went much smaller than a 18 you'd probably want to go down to extra small ultra wire but I'm just going to cover that wire up with tight wraps as I went back and then as I went forward and rib the body of the fly with the wire and we'll tie that off and we'll just hold our wire down and wiggle it until it breaks you can trim it off but being stubborn there it goes <clears throat> wrap down a couple more times and then the thorax of the fly will do a few turns of peacock curl and you can tie in on bigger flies um, a couple pieces but for most flies really I'm gonna need one strand of, of hurl here a couple wraps tie off trim off the excess and then we'll do our whip finish trim our thread and there you go, really great midge pattern from Greg Garcia. And the purple version has caught some really big fish for us this spring so far. So definitely worth tying up some and putting them in your, your midge box. But don't overlook some, some of the other colors. You can do black, you can do olive, but just changing up that thread color and wire color gives you a lot of possibilities. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Thanks for watching. More videos coming soon.